Hello, welcome. Cabbage here. So today, this is kind of a uh, request video. Uh, somebody asked me to uh, take uh, Undine uh, Ascension through Izanami. And uh, yeah, I uh, finally, finally got the uh, Ascension materials for her. Um, so I could make her Ascension. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we can look real quick at her uh, stats. Uh, HP is a little on the low side, maybe average for a uh, drop monster. Um, attack is fine, and speed is slow. Uh, but we're not going to use her for her stats. Uh, we are using her exclusively for her uh, one-way laser. And uh, she is a blast type, so she gets a, um, you know, um, raised stats, raised attack stat on that one-way laser. And then uh, her one single um, null ability is no warp. And um, it would seem like that um, that would not be a good ability for Izanami. Um, but actually, with all the gravity barriers, it's easier to position her. And then um, the damage walls, um, they don't really come out where Undine is going to be anyway, so it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, and then while we're here, we might as well look at the rest of this uh, Izanami hatcher. Uh, we'll look at uh, Marguerite here. Uh, she also has one-way laser, uh, but she's kind of a funny character because her base stats are so good as well that you would want to use her for her uh, base attack as an attacker. Um, but that would often put her out of uh, position for her one-way laser. Um, so yeah, if you're going to use her, then um, kind of keep in mind how you want to use her, either for her laser or for her attack. Um, Okay, next up, uh, Romeo. Here's the uh, evolution version, and uh, he's pretty good, but most people are going to go for the uh, Ascension, which I do too as well. Uh, he's got flight, uh, no gravity barrier, he can get around the gravity barriers. Um, he is also a blast type, so his uh, X laser does a lot of damage. Uh, but his stats are much better than your average blast type, so he's pretty great. And then uh, he also has a um, Chain Meteor Strike Shot, which is really good on the second to last uh, boss stage. Okay, next up is um, Verdandi, uh, Ascension. And uh, she recently uh, got buffed, so she also, also became a Blast type, uh, which uh, helps her uh, rebound EX Laser get around uh, really well and do a lot of damage. And then uh, she has the double null ability, which does come in handy if uh, you take too long on a stage and the damage walls come out. And that's it, basically. Alrighty, so then uh, we'll uh, move over to my uh, play video, where I have... Undine and friends uh, all set up. Alright, so my strategy is basically just to position Undina at the uh, bottom, uh, where I need her, and then use all my other guys just to hit her and get the laser out. And uh, ideally I would have her in either the second or the uh, third position, um, so that she could help with the zombies here. Um, but, didn't work out that way, it'll still be fine. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, as you can see, we are just uh, melting that right row of uh, enemies there uh, because of Indina's laser. And then uh, to talk about the other characters I'm using, uh, they're all Pierce, uh, which makes it easier for them to get around and then uh, get the one-way laser out. Um, first, I'm using uh, Marie Antoinette uh, Ascension. And uh, yeah, Pierce, no gravity barrier. Um, yeah, decent bomb combo, decent strike shot. Um, I used her a lot while I was making the uh, max luck of uh, Izanami. And then uh, second, I'm using uh, Dax. That's my next uh, max luck. And uh, he's also Pierce, no gravity barrier. And he has the uh, Blast Bomb combo, uh, which can help to get out Indiana's uh, one-way laser even more. And then uh, finally, I'm using... Um, what's her face? Ah, uh, Maxa Shiro. Uh, evolution. Also Pierce, uh, no gravity barrier, uh, strong bump combo, strong strike shot. Alrighty, so we're uh, going pretty smoothly through the uh, zombie uh, loops here. And then we're going to try to move uh, Undine to the bottom of the screen uh, so that she can get ready for the first uh, mini boss stage. Okay, pretty good.
Yeah, I had the uh, evolution of uh, Undine for a long time, but I never actually used her. Um, she has that kind of uh, strange uh, null ability set of no gravity barrier, no warp, where there's no real good place to use uh, both of those at once. Um, there's like Izanagi, and that's about it. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So I'm very happy to have made the ascension, and then yeah, her positioning is perfect for the uh, mini boss here. So we are just going to hit her with our uh, pierce types, and then uh, also if we can, uh, kind of nudge Undine left or right so that she can hit the uh, the weak point. All right, so there I see the weak point on the left, so we will nudge her from the right. All right, pretty good damage. All right, weak point on left, so we will hit uh, Undine from the right. And we'll grab the heart. And uh, yeah, on uh, Undine, Undine's turn, we don't want to do anything with her except maintain her position. Okay, and the weak point's right above, so we'll just uh, hit her right on and then pick up the heart again. Okay, so then uh, this next uh, stage here, this might be the most difficult, um, just because the uh, zombies are on opposite sides. Uh, but uh, the technique I'll use here is that I'll take out the three guys with a one-way laser, and then hope the zombie revives the other two guys, uh, which did indeed happen. So now we'll go after the zombie there. Okay, that turned out great. Uh, alrighty, and then for the uh, the first boss stage, which is coming up next, we'll try to position uh, Undine in the lower left-hand corner. So we'll just do a side-to-side -side there, that is perfect. And then uh, with all my other guys, I will take out the little guys. Alright, pretty good. Alright, pretty good. Alright, we'll go around uh, since the positioning is good. Okay, and then uh, this is easy for positioning too. We can just go back and forth in between the two uh, dragon guys. And uh, we'll maintain our position. Okay, so we'll just hit her and then uh, get the uh, bump combo out. Excellent, that's about a third of uh, Izanami's life there. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Dax. Yeah, here I'm going to try to get a little fancy and then try to kind of go back and forth, but it was too many times, so I couldn't make it to uh, Undina. But here we will uh, go around the warps and then get the blast bump combo in there. Very good. And here again, just about uh, maintaining position. And then uh, usually when I start this stage, I like to start with my guys on the upper half of the screen. Uh, for this one, we want to be on the lower half of the screen uh, so that we can be under that line of warps and then um, hit the bump combos more easily. Okay, I would love to get the heart now. <laughs> Whoops, well, maybe this time. Alright, so here I see that Undine is out of position, so we're just going to ignore her and instead uh, get hearts and do a direct attack. Uh, but actually, uh, she's in great position for the next mission, so this is just fine. Uh, next stage. Okay, so now Izanami's on the lower right. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do up and down and uh, maintain our position. And then uh, with all my other characters, uh, hit her. And then one thing I want to be uh, careful of is that um, the uh, Bahamut will shoot out a mini spread, which can uh, 
take you out, pretty much, if your positioning is no good. Uh, so you don't want to move your guys so that they are in that area. Uh, I see that Marie Antoinette may or may not be in that area, so I'll work with my other characters to get her out of that range. And thankfully, I'll also get in uh, Undine's laser. Very good, and beat the stage. And uh, yeah, she's in great position again for this uh, next stage as well, so we're doing just fine. Okay, we're going to use her uh, strike shot in order to uh, stick to Izanami. If I had gotten a little bit more to the left, the laser would have gone through the, uh, the boss's weak point and would have done more damage, but oh well. Okay, pretty good. Alright, so the weak point's way over there, so we'll just move uh, Undine to the middle. Okay, weak point right above, so that's awesome. Alright, excellent damage. Alright, and here, this is where Undine's uh, anti-no uh, warp comes into play. Uh, yeah, one thing that could really uh, screw up, say, like Marguerite's uh, positioning for the uh, one-way laser is the warp. Uh, but Undine doesn't have to worry about that, so that's great for her. Okay, so last stage. Um, Undine is a little bit on the left side, so we want to hit her from the left in order to move her to the center. So we will do that with Dax. Excellent. And I think... I think, ah, here the weak point is on the left, so we'll try to move uh, the laser over to the left as well. And uh, yeah, we'll use the strike shot just to see if we can get some hits on uh, some other guys. Alright, excellent. Okay, so we want to maintain position here, so we'll just go straight up and down. Alright, yeah, closer to Izanami the better there. We don't want to get hit with the, uh, the Bahamut's attacks. Alright, so another strike shot here, more laser. And this should do it. Okay, pretty good. And we got the speed clear, so not too shabby. Alright, so uh, if you wanted to take uh, Undine Ascension into Izanami, um, I highly recommend to bring her with other uh, bounce types our other pierce types uh, and then preferably with a uh, blast bump combo so you can use either Dax or Napoleon um, can't think of anyone else right now um, but yeah just maintain uh, Undine's position at the bottom and then hit her and then kind of nudge her back and forth uh, depending on where she needs to be okay well hopefully uh, that was helpful for you we'll see you again take care